Okay, here we are, Math 8, Unit 4, Lesson 16. That's our last lesson in this unit, which is the halfway point for the series. Awesome. So this is called Solving Problems with Systems of Equations. So we're going to solve some gnarly problems. Here we go. It says, are we there yet? A car is driving towards home at 0.5 miles per minute, right? So here's a car, and it's driving towards home. Here's our little home at 0.5 miles per minute. Miles per minute. If the car is four miles from home, meaning the distance from here to here is four miles and at t equals zero, so here's zero, okay, which of the following represents the distance the car has left to drive, left to drive. So we're going to be taking four miles and we're going to be taking away however far it tends to be going. So every minute it's going 0.5 miles every minute. So writing it out this way, I can see that my one solution is going to be right here right because I have to say I'm gonna start four miles away and I'm gonna be decreasing a little bit every minute that I'm driving okay here I'm adding to it these guys are the same I'm multiplying those are the same well, actually those are the same for the four there I'm multiplying that's just not gonna quite work so go with that one let's solve these problem and explain and show your reasoning so here we go two friends live seven miles apart alright so two friends live seven miles apart so here's their friends friend A and friend B, and they are seven miles apart. One Saturday, two friends sat on their bikes at 8 a.m. and started riding towards each other. One rides at 0.2 miles per minute. Here's this guy at 0.2 miles per minute. And the other rides this way, going this way, at 0.15 miles per minute. At what time will the two friends meet? Okay, so one friend is going, one friend is going 0.2 times x. The other friend is going um, in this case here, he's going positive. This one, B, is going to be going 7 minus 0.15x. Okay? This one's starting at 0, right? It's at 2x plus 0. So I can, I don't have to put the 0 there, but it's like 0. If I was graphing it, we'd start him at the origin. The other one would start over here, right? Something like this. He's going to start here, and off he goes. The other guy starts here, and off he goes. We're looking for that point where they meet. Okay? So we set them equal to each other, 0.2x equals 7 minus 0.15x. We're going to add 0.15, add 0.15, and so we end up with 0.35x equals 7. We divide by 7, and x equals 20. So what does that indicate? It means that after 20 minutes, they're going to meet somewhere in the middle right there and that's where we're gonna meet now they started at 8 o'clock so that means that they're gonna meet actually at 820 if they asked for the time that would be the actual time they're gonna meet at 820 let's look at number two number two says students are selling grapefruits and nuts for a fundraiser the grapefruit costs one dollar each and a bag of nuts costs ten dollars each okay so grapefruit is one Okay, plus nuts, which are $10 for nuts. Got that there? They sold 100 items, 100 items, and made $307. So if I'm working on the, the cost, this is my $10 and my $1, that's going to add up to equal 307 If I'm just doing the grapefruit plus nuts by themselves, that's going to equal 100 So now I have two systems of equations that I can work with here. Let's go ahead and get one of these equal to just um, a letter G. So to get this equal to G, I can subtract N from both sides. So G equals 100 minus N. And I can use that value to plug in up here to say that 100 minus N, right? That's my G plus 10N equals 307. So I'm using this equation, but I'm using that value of G. So 100 minus n plus n is 100 minus 9n equals 307. We subtract 100, subtract 100. So negative 9n equals 207. And we divide all that by 9, negative 9 I should say, and negative 9, sorry, positive 9. I did that again. <laughs> negative n plus n is positive 9. I did it on my steps before too. Sorry about that. So 9, 207 divided by 9, n is going to be equal to 23. So it's going to be 23 nuts is what I have there. 
Now in terms of how many grapefruit, I gotta see what's left. 100 minus 23 is 77 for my grapefruit. So that's the number of grapefruits and nuts that they're gonna sell in order to have 100 items and to make $307. And number three, Jada earns, here's Jada, she earns $7 per hour mowing her neighbor's lawn. Andre gets paid $5 per hour for the first hour babysitting, right? Plus $8 for the extra hours. So $8 for hours um, minus one, okay? Minus, minus plus one, sorry. Um, right, no, uh, hours plus. Minus one. We're gonna assume minus one because he already got paid for the first hour. There's the first hour and the second hour would be that. So he worked, if he worked uh, one hour, he would get just the $5 because one minus one is zero. If he worked two hours, then he gets $5 plus two minus one is one. So he gets that extra bit right there. So those are our two equations we're working with there. Right, what is the number of hours they both can work so they get paid the same amount? So to find out whether the same, we're gonna set them equal to each other. Seven H is gonna equal five times five plus eight times h minus one. We do distributive property here. So seven h equals five plus eight h minus eight. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract seven h, subtract seven h so I have a positive h on this side and add eight there and add, well, sorry. I have a negative eight and a positive five. That's gonna be combined to give me a negative three, right? So negative three equals zero. We add three over here, add three over here, so three equals H. So it's gonna take three hours for that to work. Okay, and then that's really it for the day. This one says to invent your own problem and solve it on your own and have your teacher check your work, see how you're doing. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next unit.